that's kind of cool. Kind of kind of gets you in the zone. So I appreciate that. Um, just really happy to be here. I mean, I think the event that you put it on here is great. Uh, you know, we get to hear two great speakers go before me, and we get to take pieces of the things that they had in their speech and apply it and see if it resonates within their life. So I, I think that's really great. Um, I, I wanted to follow in Christopher's steps and speak from the heart, but I did that once for a best man speech and did not go well. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick to the script. Uh, so without further ado, um, what, what I really want to focus on is you know, finding leadership within oneself. And specifically, like Lori mentioned, one of the pillars is that growth mindset. And I think that comes from finding leadership within ourselves. Um, you know, leadership's a great topic because it's all around us, right? We have people in our lives we view as leaders. It's our boss, it's the captain of our team, author of our favorite book, maybe it's Gandhi, right? We look for those people to show up when we need them most. Um, we look to them to guide, motivate, and inspire us. When we're down, we look for them to pick us back up. When we don't know which direction, they point. When you oversleep on your alarm and you're late for work, your boss calls you, right? He gets you in the office. Um, you know, we all have a problem, and, and we look for these people to help us solve it. But constantly, right, we're waiting on these people to come in and solve our problems, uh, you know, make them go away, to motivate us to get that promotion, to help us get to that next level. It's great to have people that you can lean on. Absolutely. I have it. You have it. But at the end of the day, is that person always going to be available? What if you need that phone call right then and there? What do you do? Well, the only person that can come in and make your problems go away and make yourself grow is yourself. We all have those leadership qualities within. It's been touched on multiple times. Sam talked about it. Rolando talked about it. Key, when she went down, was helping in George Floyd, right? She found those leadership qualities that she did not know she possessed, and she brought herself to the next level. Um, like, and, if you, and if you need some perspective on it, leadership is just having an impact on somebody. The people around us, who are we impacting? Is it our kids? You know, we are with our kids every day. We give them instructions on how to lead their life in the future. They follow you, you're their leader. Is it the intern that just started at the office? Are you working with him every day, helping him learn and grow? He follows you, you're the leader. What about yourself? What are you doing every day for yourself to better yourself, to lead yourself to a better life? You're a leader. You are the most important leader in your life. Again, that's not to say that other people, we can't rely on them, but we need to rely on ourselves. And this is so cliche, and I, I hate that it's even in my speech, but leadership starts with leading, right? It starts with lead. And to lead, you need to lead yourself. You need to lead your life and you need to take action. And becoming a better leader comes from taking action, taking small steps to get yourself, get yourself momentum every day in life. You know, the, the cliche one is working out. We don't expect you to run 10 miles tomorrow, but what if you just went on the treadmill for 30 minutes and you do that three times a week? What happens a month from now? What happens six months from now? What happens three years from now? If you do that every, every day, it's like pushing a snowball down a hill all of a sudden it becomes a boulder. So momentum creates that confidence in your leadership skills. Um, so how, how do we become this leadership that we're you know, capable, of, capable of being, right? It's momentum, it's creating confidence within yourself. For me, I just boil it down to a three-step process in three words. It's result, it's why, and it's identity. Result, what is the result you wanna create? This can also be phrased as goal. So what is your goal when being a leader to others? Your why, why do you have this goal? What is the purpose of the goal? Purpose is the most important key in this, in this phrase. Purpose is everything. Purpose is the motivation behind everything we do in life. You find your why, you find your purpose, and that helps you get to your goal. And then lastly, identity. What is the identity you wanna create for yourself? You're setting a goal, but not for the purpose of the goal, but for who you have to become within that process to achieve that goal. So if you wanna be a better leader and create a better life, why do you wanna be a better leader? Find that purpose. Why do we wanna create a better life? 
Is it so we can be better for those around us? Is it so that we can be better for our kids? Be better so that we can help others be better. And identity, what is the identity you want to create for yourself? Again, you're setting yourself not for the, the purpose of the goal, but for the identity you are trying to create within yourself to achieve that goal. So, for example, I mean, my, mine's a little cliche, right? But what is my result? What is my goal? Well, I, I want to achieve my sales goal every year, and I want to be successful in life. Why is that? Well, my, my boss is sitting right back there, and if I make more money, he makes more money, and we're both happy, right? That's my why. But in reality, my why is that I want to be able to give back more than that's been given to me. If I am successful in life, I can give to those that are much less fortunate than me, and I can have an impact on those people. And the identity I need to create is I need to be a, per a person that is fearless and is not afraid to make that cold call or send that email or that gets up at 6 a.m. because they have to drive an hour for a meeting. I need to be that guy that pushes himself so I can be better for the, the other people. I can find my why. So if, if you're anything like me, often I did not classify myself as a leader. You kind of go through the motions. I was never the captain of my team. I didn't do a lot of public speaking. You know, maybe not, not, a, not a lot of notoriety. And for a long time, I didn't channel that inner leadership. I didn't know I possessed it. Um, some call that imposter syndrome. You know, we don't think we're worthy of being a leader. We don't think that uh, we want to bear that responsibility. Um, and, you know, to myself, like today, I, I have it. A lot of us have that imposter syndrome where we don't believe we're worthy of being that leader, that person that we want to be. And if that's you too, you know, I, I learned uh, a couple years ago a trick to kind of get yourself into that mindset. So if any of you watch sports, you know, you hear a, a football team, they have a chant before a game. You know, kids on a hockey team might have a little handshake that they do, right, to get themselves in the mindset. When it really resonated with me is that one of my best friends uh, fought mixed martial arts. And he told me, that before every fight, he does a little chest bump. Gets him in the right mindset, gets him in the state of mind. I was like, that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna do that when I walk into a meeting. <laughs> All right, we gotta close this deal, Shane. One second. Let's go. No, the, the thing that I found to be successful for me is what I call the good philosophy. And when I'm trying to get myself in that state of mind or if something goes wrong in my life and I need to remember that I'm a leader and I can pull myself through it, I just say, good, right? It's simple as that. So if something goes wrong in my life, good. I missed the sale, good. I can learn from it. I can grow. I can close the next one. My car broke down, good. I'm going to either learn how to fix it or I'm going to buy a new one. <laughs> so for me, saying good is how I get myself in the state of mind. Coming up here today, I don't do a ton of public speaking, but good. I have an opportunity to learn. I have an opportunity to be better, and I have an opportunity to grow in a different area that maybe I thought I would never be capable of. And so lastly, I'm, I'm not up here trying to pretend to be Tony Robbins and that this five minutes is going to change your life. Um, but it, it's, just, it's just a reminder that we often forget that we possess those leadership qualities. So I'm just here to say that you are all leaders. And um, it's important that we are not only a leader for ourselves, but we're a leader for others around us. So if you want to be a leader, find your why. What is your purpose? Thank you.